The opening of the Shanghai office is just around the corner for the Gold Standard team. However, as the company moves forward, its leadership seems to be falling behind. Luna and Bill have been hard at work finalizing last-minute details for the expansion, which Tina scrambles to hold on to the agency's biggest client. Stress is at an all-time high as R begins to crack. Could the opening of the Shanghai office mean the end for the LA headquarters? Ari, things are starting to come together with the Shanghai office, but I need you to be patient. We can't afford to take any shortcuts as our investors have millions tied up in this expansion. The investors, the clients, the employees, everyone needs something from me. I've got people telling me to hurry up, be patient, slow down. What's taking so long? It's insane. I'm being pulled in 18 different directions. I warned you that this globalization project would be no small task. You would be surprised. The difference in culture can create some extraordinary challenges. You've only worked in an environment with low context culture, which means that situations do not have much of an impact on what type of behavior is and isn't appropriate. You need to understand that China has a high context culture, meaning that a situation can have a large impact on what the employee deems appropriate. We need to be clear with what we are saying and be ready, willing to ask for clarification if a response does not seem right. All right, Lena and Bill have done an excellent job preparing for the opening. I took a look at their SWOT analysis, and everything looks like it is in order, and we shouldn't encounter any major issues from here on out. No major issues. I've got nothing but major issues. Let's just start with the fact that Vince, our top earning client, is looking for new representation because I can't wave a magic wand and make him freaking Tom Hanks. I've got Warner Brothers pissed off with me. Not to mention, my wife hates me because I spend every single waking moment in this godforsaken place. Luna and Bill, I think this meeting is a wrap. Thanks for all your hard work making sure this expansion goes off without a hitch. Ari and I have some other meetings we have to prepare for. Listen, Tina, I'm not trying to be a jerk, but this project is putting me over the edge. I know, which is why I'm putting Luna in charge of making the rest of the decisions. She's proven to be highly competent, and we will likely lose her if you keep treating her that way. Vince, I appreciate you meeting with me. I know it's unusual that we would be meeting without Ari, but given the circumstances, I thought it would be best. Tina, you've always been good to me. My beef is with Ari and his questionable moral code. As is mine. Do you think I'd be able to sign new clients when everyone in the business is calling the agency the old standard? They think Ari's a joke. Luna has been powering through this expansion even with Ari fighting her every step of the way. Ari is under a lot of stress, there's no doubt about it. However, I have good news for you. I've lined up a meeting with one of the major producers in Shanghai. He's interested in casting you in the lead role for his upcoming movie. I'm having you fly out with Bill and Luna this week to do a table read. Great. I can start scoping out my corner office. I am excited for you, Vince. I have a feeling the Shanghai office is going to mark a major turning point for the gold standard. I see a lot of positive organizational change heading our way. Me too, Luna. I think it would be good to get away for a few days.